Hello everyone. Understand what Discord fatal JavaScript error is and refer to this step-by-step -step guide explaining 5 methods to fix Discord fatal JavaScript error. This Discord fatal JavaScript error is a common error faced by the users while using the Discord application. There are various reasons that can be responsible for this error. Damaged configurations. Configurations are one of the vital reasons for Discord. A fatal JavaScript error is damaged configurations does not allow the data packets to sync properly and this results in fatal JavaScript. Error. Antivirus might be responsible for this error. Sometimes the antivirus software present in the system marks the files of the Discord folder as infected files and therefore blocks the users from using the required files. Corrupt installation. Corrupt installation results in this error, because a corrupt installation does not extract and install all the system files. Method 1. Disable antivirus. Click on Start menu, and select Settings. Click on Update and Security. Click on Windows Security. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. Click on Manage Settings. Then turn off Real-Time Protection. Method 2. Run Discord as Administrator. Right-click on the Discord icon and click on Properties. A dialog box will appear. Click on Compatibility. Then check the box next to run this program in Compatibility Mode 4. Select the Windows 7 or Windows 8 to use for your app settings in the drop-down box. After that, click on Run this program as an administrator. Then click on Apply, and OK. Method 3, Using Command Prompt. Search for Command Prompt in the search bar and right-click on it. Click on Run as Administrator. Type Update Force and press Enter. The updating policy process will be visible and then completed. Method 4. Change startup type of quality Windows Audio Video Experience Service. Press Windows plus R from the keyboard, search for services.msc and then click on OK. Search for quality Windows Audio Video Experience. Make a right click and then click on Properties. Click on Startup Type and set it to Automatic. Now click on Start to resume the services. Click on Log On and then click on Browse. A dialog box will open. Add the name of your account in the Enter the Object Name to Select text box and then click on OK. Click on Apply and then click on OK. Now restart the system and the error will be fixed.